Welcome back to The Watch. And you know, guys, sometimes this job, it's not all sunshine and daisies, is it? Yeah, can I make an announcement? This is the worst thing you've ever made me watch. <laughs> That's why I wanted to preface it. This was like uh, the guy's Alamo War. <laughs> like, th this was less enjoyable than Rings of Power and Halo. Zero and out of ten. Show, like, Zero out of ten. Nothing <laughs> redeemable here. I want to make a statement right off the top. This film was written by AI. It you was ChatGPT. Chat GBT. I, yeah. I wonder, actually. Who, okay, let me ask you this, Shad. Who names a cat, cat? Okay, there's a couple of lines that you might have a point here, right? Um, okay, because uh, I was prefacing this like, so this is a tough job sometimes, but... Uh, this was rough. So, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> who else is going to watch Madam Web? Especially with how great it is. Two hours. <laughs> This one was rough. This is not a joke. You guys have like the uh, the face of trauma. <laughs> like, look at Tyrant. He's like, yeah. <laughs> he's seen some this stuff. This was bad, man. This was bad. This one was hard to get through. Not oh. even in like a fun, enjoyable, like the room type of bad where it circles around him. Comes mm. This was just, this was rough. Yeah. Every line, every, the characters, so unlikable. This wasn't, this fails as a film. Like it fails as a, as a competent film <laughs> it's really bad guys <laughs> no it is it is bad like i and i wonder like at the end of it all i am left with so many questions mm. but this thing all the questions could be summed up with one word but applied in multiple different aspects and it's why just why right why did they do this? Why did they do well, like why and ultimately why did they make this film? Who is it for? Because we should be the target audience. We we're nerds, we love superheroes and everything like that. This is not superhero. This There's is no not hero. a superhero like this is not a superhero movie. There's only one hero in this, and that's Ben. <laughs> that's Ben. <laughs> for putting up with Well he we we're talking about it in the car. It's like you know, she she was a paramedic, you know, they're supposed to be paramedics. Uh, she gets in the car accident and then goes into the river. That means he dived off that that yes. bridge, pulled yes. her out of the car, mm -hmm. and then gave her chest compression. Yeah. He's a hero, man. Saved her life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He acted like it was nothing. You know? And he also had to put up with those girls for like two weeks while they were just acting uh, like We couldn't do two hours. Brats. Like... Was, it, was it two weeks or five minutes? There's no time scale they, they, well, in the film. They, they, they screw up on that. Oh, well, I... I'm it kind of left speechless uh, mm. at the end just by how boring, dull, and pointless. Now, you said there was no superhero in this film. Mm. I actually think you could identify a character in this as the uh, super superhero, but they want to be the turn him to a villain. Like the only character that looks like a superhero is the villain. Mm. And this is an intentional just why do you think they made him look like Spider Man? Let me ask you a question, Chad. I, this is something I noticed, mm -hmm. Nathan noticed. I don't know if you noticed as well. When in the first half of his lines, were they dubbed? Because he his mouth would go, and he would say a whole spiel. Oh, I missed it. You uh, missed that. I, I, it was the way kind he of spoke huge. Was very red. Yeah. I, yeah. That was... I mean, all the dialogue felt unnatural. Mm -hmm. uh, Every and line. Like, like the <laughs> dialogue was terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because like, they have no context of this, but I want to say these things like. Let's just say the main villain goes and picks up a chick, takes her home to his giant home that has nothing in it except a giant column with a spider in it. He then bangs her. He then wakes up in the middle of the night and goes, I had a dream I was dying. It was these three teenage girls. I'm going to kill them. Like, <laughs> That's a sane thing to say. And the lady next to her is just like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's yeah, a bummer. That's mm, Tell me more. <laughs> It's rough. <laughs> this film is rough. Um, no, so in regards to the villain, right? It seems like they went out of their way to put him into a suit that, like, it has the Spider-Man eyes, right? Mm -hmm. That, that they, they're making him look like Spider-Man. And it's like, really seems like there's an attempt here to make it look like, you know, Spider-Man is essentially the villain, you know, the, old, the old male hero. And now we have our three female heroes. I would say here is, but like the trailer's a bait and switch. Yeah. The trailer legit proposes that the other three girls are going to be superpowers, costumes, everything like that. Nobody has any superpowers. Oh, Madam Web-ish. 
like what's the superpower? She can split into multiple. Um, but then if things. he punches her, it... yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so that's not really a power then. I know? mean, uh, precognition. I think you know, there's ways to work with it. A it's really lame. Um, Did they work with it, Chad? No, they didn't. That's yeah, what I mean. yeah, okay. So nobody had any real power. Then, you know? Oh, they didn't. Yeah. You like, yeah. It's, it's and the only the super, final scene. The only superhero-like character again is the villain. Wonder why they're not depicted? Because oh boy, there's <laughs> it's like way to begin. <laughs> there was something that you said that triggered my um a comment, but now it escape escapeth me. Let's start at the start. All the characters are unlikable and don't act like human beings. Okay, well, the bad dialogue happens right out of the gate. Yep, right, right? in the first scene. Yeah. Uh, and it's consistent throughout. And when you said, like, it feels like it's written by AI, mm. right, there are some bafflingly dumb lines in this. Like, what? It's made out of cardboard. It doesn't even fold. And it's like... If cardboard does fold. Well, it's it's more. It's there's not only the line issue. There's also the how the the, the movie flows. Yeah. First of all, every single medical scene in the entire film is resolved with chest compressions. Somebody's internally breathing, uh, uh, bleeding, bleeding. Yeah. yeah, chest compressions. Somebody's got a broken arm, chest compression. It's it's things like that where. Mm -hmm. The setups and payoffs are instant. It's like, I don't know how I got these powers. I don't know who this guy is. Next scene. Oh, that's who this guy is. And that's how we got these powers. Next scene. When you, it, it, the entire film is that. Over and over and over. It's, oh, mind numbing. Another pearl of a line. Don't be dumb. I, I, I And <sighs> there was actually there was a lot of them. So bad that, you know, like it was all oh, it ended up being a sludge. Those are the only ones I decided to like, mm, okay, yeah, I'll make a note of that. Uh, but there's a lot. Another, like, there are so many things that is failing this film, but the acting is horrible. And no, no, oh, this, the, the weird thing about that is I've seen all these actors in other things and they can act. It seems like. But in this, they were not acting. I like, what's going on? There's a scene where, and look. There's a crap movie, spoilers, and I don't think you're going to care, okay? So when she finds out, she has, like, a vision of the past, and she sees her mum, and she's going to go into the rainforest to find a cure because the baby, and she's an unborn baby at the time. And so it's there's supposed to be this big emotional scene. It's like, you did it for me. I thought you were just selfish. You went off and died. And she's supposed to be really sad. Every... It was just it's a horrible emoting. It was like it was someone who... <laughs> Have you ever seen those movies where an actor is playing a bad actor and so they purposely act in a way to show that it's bad acting mm -hmm. and it's really obvious? It was like that, except done un unironically. Mm. That's the best way I could describe it. What about when she goes blind at the end? How she literally gets hit in the face with something hot. In the water, there's nothing in wrong with her eyes. She's on the land and there's a few little mm -hmm. scratches here and then her eyes are already milky, like she's been blind for a year. Oh, and she's paralyzed somehow. Yep. Like, it's... Like, like she falls in water. We we don't. She doesn't get crushed. She doesn't get hit really hard. She's perfectly fine. But because she fell in water, now she's paralyzed. Wow. Like I know you can hit water really hard, but they're not. They don't showing that. <clears throat> I mean, I said, like at the very end. So the whole like bait and switch thing. They legitimately try and set up in the film. Sorry, in the trailers that these girls are going to get some superpowers, right? Mm. And for a superhero enjoyer, that's one of the few things like. Okay, maybe we'll get to see some superhero action. I didn't watch the trailer. Nope. I didn't watch the trailer. Oh, well, Because well, well. I didn't want to watch this film. It was, a, it was a bait and switch. They and now that I've up. watched this film, I don't forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I was a bit shocked because Ezekiel, he has the flashback of the girls having superpowers and killing him, and that's why he wants to kill the girls, because they supposedly kill him, right? And uh, that entire... Well, it wasn't a flashback. It was a for, your future vision, right? That was all the action scenes from the trailer. Hmm. But in the trailer, they get different moments in that scene and make it look like they're separate scenes in the trailer of them doing superhero-y spider woman stuffs, right? And then they they had that scene. It's like, that is everything from the trailer. Holy crap. They're not going to have the girls have their costumes and superpowers at all in this entire film. And that's absolutely true. And all they ha can do is try and bait people into like, yeah, they will get super fast. But it, when they do, the, the, because there's visions at the end of the film, the, them with their, their outfits, what's it just be? 
it looks so cringe. Like, like yeah. CW, low, like, budget, awful costume, really fake-looking crap. And then I'm thinking... Hang on, are they legitimately trying to bait people into getting on board for like, this is what you want, we'll give you this in the future film, and like, this was dog crap! Are you supposed to get, you think this is going to attract us to make us want to watch this? So, what was the name of the pregnant lady? That was uh, Peter Parker's mum. That's what I was saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. because he's Ben, the the paramedic guy. The uncle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and at the end, she's like, oh, that child's going to do well. I told you it was. Yeah. Yeah. You you said it wasn't. No, 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 no. I was more in denial for it, because I don't know what's going to happen because of that now. I mean, Uh, the whole lore of whatever universe is trying to make is completely screwed now. You're telling me that, like, hang on, there's going to be... Because this is 20 years after uh, 20 years Peter Parker's been born here right um, and uh, it's 2023 now this is based in 2003 I think or 2004 mm-hmm. so it's like 19 years right um, before the current events whatever but hang on there's going to be like either they haven't appeared yet and they and they decide to be the uh, spider women's in 19 years from now when they're all 40 or 38 something whatever right or there's been spider women doing the crime fighting thing that no one's heard of or even mentioned or anything like that. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, he isn't the actual first spider person, right? And uh, they're kind of robbing Peter Parker of that title of being the spider hero, right? Because a girl did it first, of course. But I, they did it with Doctor Who. They got to do. They got to take away the the status and legacy of uh, our favorite heroes and put a woman in it, and and usually make her the first. <laughs> And other things, as South Park says. So that undertone, right, was throughout the whole film where they're basically trying to replace. This is a, this was an attempt to replace Peter Parker with a more diverse, you know, female version. Right? I disagree. You disagree? Yeah. That's what the setup, though. That's what they were pushing Did towards. Did they, though? There was no action oh, in no, it. Oh, no, no, no. There was this no film, superhero but stuff But it's the in setup it. of what they want to push towards. But it's gonna it bombs so bad. They're not there gonna make a, it. There was about f- f- eight people in the in the whole cinema, mm-hmm. and as soon as those title cards hit, I was we were gone. I was out the door. <laughs> and guess what? The guy behind me was in front of me. <laughs> I I was too slow. People, uh, oh, this was. If there was an after credit scene, uh, no no one gave a crap. We, we didn't. don't care. <laughs> we were gone. We're out. It's like this was such dog crap. Now we've been like jumping on all the bad things. I think one of the primary like things that make this film un- insufferable is how annoying the girls are yeah yeah they're just a bunch of bratty girls i think the main character's annoying. worse you reckon she's worse she shows up to a barbecue and the first thing of her, out of her mouth mm. is hey you're cooking that burger wrong dude yeah and then she goes into a baby naming shower and, and goes and they go you didn't write anything for here for your memory of your mum." oh and she's like oh yeah my mum's dead <laughs> But no, she died that, in the Amazon. Don't but, worry, you're not going to die in childbirth. She's complaining about the whole thing, like, like when she has to. Yeah, it is a baby. She's like, she, she like doesn't want to be there. She doesn't like people. She's an unlikable. And then like, she supposedly saved someone's life at the opening scene. Okay, and then they want to tell her, oh, good news, the patient. Who? She's like, who? She doesn't give a crap about the. And, and, but the, what's annoying is. When they have the guy in the ambulance, she's like, he's not dying on my watch. And But she says it really like, he's not going to die on my watch. And they're, they're not worried at all. It, it's like there's no emoting there. And then the next scene contradicts that completely. Mm. She cares so little about the guy that they she forgot that there was a person involved. She's like, who? And so, yeah, she is an unlikable character who doesn't like, a, like um, uh, socializing with people. And then we're supposed to get on board with her. Somehow she ends up liking the girls, but there's no reason given for her to like the girls. They don't connect on a deeper emotional level. You know, they, like, I, I, she says, yeah, I was in the foster home. Okay, okay. I, but there's no actual connection happening to justify her caring about the girls to be their surrogate mother at the end. So, yeah, I agree. She is painful, awful, annoying. But the girls... Like, we're supposed to be invested in saving their lives. But at least they acted like humans. Selfish, annoying humans. Yeah, but that's teenagers. how teenage girls yeah. act. So, like... I, you don't... But that doesn't make a good film. I, it's not no. a good film. I never said it was a good film. I, I said I that those characters, I can at least understand because they act like people. 
But everybody else in the film does not act like people. But That's the, the problem. The act- villain walks in I- like, <laughs> did you find them yet? I'm going to kill you if you don't. I'm paying you, but I'm going to kill you. And I'm going to kill the, those teenage girls as well. Everybody acts like a cartoon. Like it's not yeah. real. The cat comes in and goes, hello, cat. Here's some milk, cat. Oh, We're you're bo- hungry, aren't you? We're both strays. Like it's <laughs> the whole film is that. It's... It's AI, man. It no, really is. It, it is. There's no way a human yeah. wrote that. But you say their girls act like people, but unlikable, annoying people. I, like, especially the, the the you know black girl. She is just so selfish and entitled and getting in people's faces. The diner scene when they're on the table dancing with the like, boys. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I mean, the I mean, only out of the three girls, the only one that I thought was. I mean, m- tolerable was the smart one. Yes, but even her, they their interaction I- is annoying, and they're not doing anything to actually invest you into their, you know, futures, saving their lives, everything. In fact, there is one line in this whole film that both Nathan and I had, we couldn't hold back chuckling heartily at, uh, because it's the most self-aware yet unself-aware line in the film where um madam webb the girls are bickering in the back she says your voices are like a, what is it a, a drill in my brain yeah, or, a drilling in brain. yeah drill. i was like Phew. i was like you all are yeah. it's like this film is more self-aware than i thought but no they didn't put it in so they're completely oblivious that that line was describing the film so well like i want to yeah voices like drills in my head she said i was like <laughs> someone gets it <laughs> Oh, gosh. There are entire scenes in this film that are pointless, like beyond pointless. There's a scene where uh, she's talking with Ben um, about like his love life. And he's like, oh, yeah, you met someone serious, blah, blah, blah. Leads to nothing. No, no context. Never bring it brought up in the film, and that's like a three minute scene. Like, yeah. there's lots of that as well. That was like a, a jangling keys to because they were referencing Art Mate, but that's it. It's like they were trying. To, this is a Spider Man film, guys. Like, no, this isn't. And, and seriously, I come back to that initial kind of concept con, con, conceptualization. Uh, how, how I encapsulate, sorry, this film. Right, is the why question. Who wanted this film? Madam Webb is a side character who's a blind, old, paralyzed woman. Was there any Spider-Man fan who's like, I want a whole Madam Webb film dedicated to that? It's like, what? Who thought that was a good idea? But because we're in the whole, you know, we need more diverse heroes and stuff, we, you know, like, instead of giving us a, another Spider-Man film... Like a film of a character that we like, well, you know, you get too much of that toxic masculinity. Here's our diverse replacement, right? And no one's asking or wanting it. And, so just, and we know, look, I say why. We ultimately know why because of the agenda. They want to replace our classic heroes with these, you know, new versions and stuff. And the fact that they were trying to foreshadow a four team up spider women kind of group, it's just like, this is what you want to push towards. Um, and. This, like, the Madam Web concept makes even less sense because of... It's a side character that's not cool, right? I can kind of understand making a Venom film. Venom is cool, okay? There might be some demand or Morbius. interest in it. M- really, even Morbius. Is that's like, Sony as well. And but, this isn't just a Sony problem. This is a DC problem. They keep making side character films, like Suicide Squad. People don't... Yes. People don't want side And we've got man. more in the pipeline... Like, we just, well, we already had Echo, which no one gave a crap about, and it was dog crap, right? And now, we've got Agatha. Agatha, do you, do you know who Agatha is, guys? That weird side character in the spin-off film, like, series from Division, who's Wonder also Vision, a side character. Who's also a side character. <laughs> had a look at uh, 2024 releases, and it is bone dry. Oh, yeah. There's nothing really coming out that has, like, been announced already, so things are looking pretty dark, because this is... Mm. And Not good. we've got Craven the Hunter coming out. Another side is a villain. Like, I could, even for me, in my mind, right, the Joker film was a stretch. I reckon but, Craven might be right. Uh, is it by Sony? Is it? This, I'm yeah, guessing, yeah, yeah. it's going to suck then too. This is made by the same people who made Madam Web, Tyrant. And Morbius. And Morbius. And Venom 2. <laughs> they got a great track record. <laughs> 
And so this trend of trying to milk i.e. the properties for everything else and pushing psych is like, again, what I was saying is like The Joker, a film about the Joker origin story, that's a stretch, okay? But at least they're working with the most iconic villain in nearly all of superhero thing, right? You think Craven the Hunter is going to be a success? <laughs> like, that there's nearly as much interest in, in that. Like, come on, but they're putting a whole film around it. Well, it's kind of like even like making a Spider-Man movie, but then there's no villain in it. Like they're making these movies with these villains, but then there's no actual hero in it to do anything. They are and, uh, their own hero yeah, in their story, yeah, which makes saying, yeah. an issue entirely because it's like, okay, let's go see Spider-Man like Black not Adam. save the day. Like Black Adam. Yeah. Black Adam is a villain. He's a villain. But yeah. then when you go watch the Black Adam movie, you're like, oh, hold on a second, none of this makes any sense because mm-hmm. he's like, he's actually kind of good, but you know, he's a, but he still is willing. To he's kill a villain. People. Like, yeah. make the villains villains. Yeah, they, they want to make the villains villain. sympathetic, mm-hmm. and then they want to demonize, belittle, and destroy the classic heroes. Mm-hmm. Kill the Justice League, the Suicide Squad game, perfect example where they literally want to piss on the legacy of our beloved, you know, heroes, um, and. This is like just another film where it's more subtle, but that's what they're pushing towards. They want to, they wanted to set up the whole female girl thing. And once upon a time, having female versions of our heroes, we liked because they weren't annoying, you know, right? And they were, they, it was when girl power was done fun, right? Like back in the day when, you know, but no, now, none of that. It's, it's, uh, this cringe and it really is cringe so like on so many different levels this doesn't work as a film just like not even like superhero madam yeah. web girl power but any of that just as a film yeah it's not enjoyable to watch and we're not talking like that kind of like maybe if you're really into this sort of stuff you could get into it no it's like no no this is mind-numbingly boring oh so boring the action is so lack there's not even action i really? shouldn't even call it that yeah th- there's like a, a spider-man who, who, like person who is killing police uh but in sh- shifty ways that you can't see most of it's just the girls trying to run away and madam webb doesn't even really figure out her powers yeah. even at the end fight she's still blah, blah, trying to trying to do crap yeah. right and the entire film is a failed origin story mm. Usually, the, orig- I, the origin happens at the beginning. They get their powers. They run into the villain. And there's a cool fight and story or whatever. Something happens. This is the entire film is them floundering, or, floundering, not knowing what to do. And then, the, like, confrontation with the bad guy without her knowing her powers still, yet knowing him a bit better, yet still failing. And then getting the villain to kill himself because she can predict how things are falling. That's that's it, and then she gets paralyzed and blinded for, yep. n- you know, random reasons. Yeah, I mean it's just dumb because the ending is done as well. The fact that they go to a firework factory <laughs> where the villain <laughs> villain's gonna be and blow it all up with them inside it, and then call a helicopter, mm-hmm. which then also gets blown up. So she's killed people now, and that also did I, like that f- uh, building seemed like it was you know, on fire before because it had burned down no before. Yeah. And so you're telling me after like several weeks, they didn't move out, move out the dangerous explosives from this. Well, I want to know building. how you get a literal uh, burning building and it doesn't ignite them already. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Temperatures is like that. When you get a, a fire going like that, like a house fire can get crazy. Yeah, in, in the first, in the first fire, yeah. but the explosives didn't go off for some reason. And now they can just put in little flares yeah. and it sets up the entire building. I, I there is bafflingly stupid plot points in this film. Like, like um, uh, Uncle Ben is, for some reason, Peter's dad isn't there, but Uncle Ben is there yep. when Peter's mum goes pregnant. Uh, sorry, goes into labour. And then he's like, all right, girls, we better go to the hospital, even though we're trying to keep you hidden. And for some, they don't know how the guy's tracking him, but he's tracking him somehow. Yeah. Okay. But he, being hidden in this house seemed to have worked. But I'm going to, you don't need to take them to the hospital with you. They were safe. They, just, they weren't being found. Just leave them there. But for some reason, he takes them in, which is the catalyst thing to make the bad guy find where they are. And so I pointed this out a lot in our reviews when you're dealing with creator, sorry, writers who are not creative, right? Mm. And they can't think of logical reasons to justify where they want the plot to go. Because this is their conundrum. The girls are in the house. They need a way for the bad guy to find where they're at. They couldn't think of any good logical reason to do it. So they end up 
doing something brain dead stupid, which was completely unnecessary. Oh, they'll just go with Uncle Ben and you know the mum while she's in labour to the hospital. What they're gonna help it? Like, like that's not gonna help. One, one of the girls looks out the window and a camera catches them. Then yeah. they use the NSA tracking stuff from the the chick that he banged, yeah, and yeah. then told that he wanted no, no. to. Kill that. Well, well I, he got the code got from the, the code. chick that he banged. He yep. The random chick that's helping him is yep. just some random chick is paying. Yep. It's just like. And how is he paying her? He got bit by a spider in the Amazon, and now he's, he's like just, he's just rich. rich, villainous yeah. guy. Well, that's the thing, also, right? the government has access to information, but they don't use it to save the girls. Yep. But the villain can use it. Like, yeah. there's so many questions. I well, have. another bafflingly dumb thing, right? Uh, the spider evil man tried to kill him on the train. They're they're leaving, right? And she's like, "No, you can't go because I need you to tell the you know authorities that I didn't abduct you." So I'm like. Well, the logical, obviously, is to take them to the police, get them, to, you know, protection and stuff like that. Nope. It's like, uh, I'll, I, I'm going to take you to um, uh, a forest. And I'm just like... And leave you for three hours in the dark, yeah. cold, with no food. <laughs> but there's a diner. Stay here. There's a diner half the mile up the road. So but they're, it they're takes fine. two minutes to walk there, half an hour to drive there. Yeah. The yeah. logic. I know. It's, a, it's a, like... And when they appear in the forest, I'm like... It was a quick bang. They're in the middle of New York City. And I don't know, it felt like they traveled 10 minutes and now they're in a, you know, thick woodland. And I'm like, did they teleport? What the heck is going on there? Um, so they, they later just try and justify a reason that they can't go to the police, but not in the point when it was most logical for them to do it. Mm. And, and hang on. Like, she's trying to avoid the police because she thinks the police are hunting him now. But she literally says, don't leave because you can explain to the police that I'm not abducting you. You have the girls there. You can take them to the police with you. Oh, they can explain. We're not being abducted. And now you get the police protection as well. But then later they try to explain by, my dad, my dad got deported six months ago. So if I go to police, I'm going to get deported too. Yeah. And then you have this whole sob story with like all the girls being like, oh, my dad's into microplastics. So he's rich and whatever. And Mom, polluting the world. Polluting the world, which, you know, 2003, 2004. But we are talking about that, weren't we? <laughs> and, just, and then the next scene, she teaches them chest compressions. Why, I, why? To have bond? Oh, because it's going to come in, in uh, yeah, it of was, course it is. It was the most shoehorned in, clumsy foreshadowing. And it's like, oh, the only reason you're forcing this into the film right now is because someone is going to need it later yeah, on. But yeah. even then, it's like... That it, doesn't solve everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like if someone gets hit in the head or shot or something, you know. Like, CPR, it'll work. Yeah. It'll uh, work. And they tried to justify it because of the poison thing. It's like, you know, if you're... If it's, yes, it's, yes, yes, yes. But snake bites, you know, in Australia, you don't CPR. Yeah, You, you, you don't really want to circulate the venom yeah. around the body. Yeah. <laughs> and usually when it coagulates your blood into a thick soup, you know, doing that's not really going to do it. <laughs> it's, it's over. <laughs> like, GG. so much wrong with this. <laughs> it, it, this film is a disaster. Uh, it is... Like painfully boring to get through. I was just the film, whole film. I was like, I wonder if I was expecting that. I was just like, oh, this is. Psh. And then there were the random lines that just made us crack up, like like, like the the drilling in the head. Me and Nathan just couldn't help. Just like that. That was hilarious. And well, there was another moment where both you and me just cracked up. I can't. What was I don't it? know what one it was. There was quite a few uh, shatteredness. I mean, the reason why I think it was written by AI is because when they ever talk about medical procedures, they don't say, oh, yeah, he's he's got a heart attack or whatever. It's like cardiac arrest, blah, 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 and mm. they say specific medical procedures, the way people don't usually talk as well as, you know, yeah. other ways that they speak. Well, uh, there's the scene where the, the before the chief or whatever dies in the car accident, and they're, they're dragging someone off on a gurney, and she's like, stop, did you check for internal bleeding? And check his like, appendix. Ah, you're right, good catch. And it's like... <laughs> What? <laughs> You're all paramedics. <laughs> but she's a better paramedic. And they and it's, there are a lot of moments like that where they're just trying to prop her up as being so competent, like she's a better driver. And Well, it's ridiculous because in the next scene, she's giving chest compressions, because of course she is, and the guy's just unconscious with like a broken arm. <laughs> No, he, and then she, he's and then, bleeding. He was in a. This is the guy that got hit by the truck, right? No, no, he's we're talking about the one. guy that how where everything was happening, and she's just standing there over some dude like this for like four <laughs> minutes, having her visions. As soon as the visions stop, she looks down. The guy's just like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> so. You say it was written by AI. I sometimes wonder that I think AI could probably do a better job if they had a competent writer working with it together, like. 
Yeah, because the writing is getting so bad. That... But like, think of it like this: there's no subtlety. The setups and payoffs are so minor mm. and so instant. Uh, the entire overarching of the plot is so convoluted yet simple at the same time. Mm. Like a human wouldn't do these sorts of things. This is something like if you try and generate it. They would though. We've seen so many examples of dog crap. Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness is some of the most trash, brain dead. Like, but tell me writing. any any normal human writer who would write the name of a cat as cat. I think the like, most basic of people, even the most basic of people, go, okay, this is uh, snowball. Or Every whatever. time I underestimate the depths of human stupidity, mm. I am surprised once again. <laughs> All I know is that the main actress made a joke about AI writing, oh, and I she... don't think it was a joke. Oh. I think it was legit. Possibly, possibly, because this this film. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're done with this. I, don't <laughs> I, I, I think we're done there because there's no point in going through chronologically because it like it it, it, it was painful and uh, it would be bringing up too many bad memories. And I, I don't think it's, there's no point because it's just. And the met, um, I just want to check real quickly, but I think the Metacritic score on like Rotten Tomatoes right now. You checked this morning. It was twenty three this morning. Very low. People are already like, yeah, this is this is terrible. I get it. Goes back. Who was this made for? No one's interested in this. No. Uh, like, like, it feels like Sony and uh, same with Disney. And everything they've had. I don't know. Feminist consultants, which have been like, or, or uh, you know, agenda driven, like we've got to put the diversity, got to put it to chicken and make them diverse and all that stuff. And and so someone in there is like, all right, imagine Spider Man, but women, unlikable women, no powers, no, uh, barely any powers, no suits, and 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 they'll argue and and they'll be. They'll have to escape the uh, toxic, violent masculinity of, of an evil man that wants to kill them. Like, can you see the, connect the connections? Uh, it it's a film that fights the patriarchy. What do you think, Sony? And Sony's like, sign me up. That'll make us heaps of money. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was, it was, it was trash. Yeah. That's all we got. Stay on watch.